Hey guys, here with another episode of Trainer Confidential. Got Donnie here, and we are going to talk about the uh, guest posing at the Pittsburgh Pro coming up on the tenth uh, Friday. So, pretty impressive lineup. And I want to, yeah. yeah, I'm going to start right off showing showing you guys that. So, uh, and they've added to this list too. This is the the updated one here. So we got Hunter Labrada, we got Sampson, we got Big Ramy, we got Lunsford, we got Walker, Jack. Mo Shabon, Urs, and Martin Fitzwater that just won the new or the uh, Detroit Pro. Uh, the funny thing about this one is uh, Urs, Urs called out uh, Chris Bumstead because I believe last year too he, uh, Chris Bumstead was uh, just a special guest. He didn't he didn't guest pose, <laughs> and uh -huh. you see down there it says special appearance by Chris Bumstead. Although he's got a baby that's due like any day though too, so I'm kind of so surprised. Think, yeah, you got you got to you got to consider that. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised he's even doing that because his babies do like any time. But so uh, is yeah, that, is that is that top lineup the guest posers? Yeah, yeah. The all, these are all guest posers here, minus uh, Chris Chris. Everybody. Bumstead. Yeah, that's what's exciting about this. I mean, Pittsburgh Pro always has some good guest posing. I mean, they they're always known for that. But man, like what I'm excited about is is comparing Lunsford to Nick Walker. Now, Nick Walker. At that point, he's going to be a week out from the New York and Lunsford. Obviously, he, he's you know he's not in prep right now. But right, uh, I want to go off. Of he's he's going to look so, tight though. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He'll look I want to go off some updates of of Lunsford. Uh, that is really impressive. So actually, they all have uh, have done a lot in this time, especially Hunter Labrada. But uh, I'm going to start off with Urs real quick. This is this is Urs four days ago. So. He's in shape. Now, I don't know what show he's doing. I believe he is prepping for a show. I'm just not sure which one yet. But, yeah, he called out Chris Bumstead because he's getting up there guest pose, guest pose, and he wants he wants to see Chris guest pose. So, <laughs> But he's looking big. Looking pretty impressive. Yeah, he's really growing into that. He's, he's, he looks more like a 212 than a, than a classic physique guy. Yeah, he does now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's uh he's pretty big now. Uh, he's put on a lot of lot of size, a lot of size since the Arnold. Well, even at the Arnold, he was, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go into uh, uh Lunsford next. This is a this is the latest update of Lunsford. <laughs> that is nuts. I don't um, know how much he's weighing, but uh. Yeah, that's that's insane. Wow, I mean, he's known for his back, but like, I mean, he has put a lot more on his back. So it's going to be really interesting to see him standing up to Nick Nick Walker because you know they're going to be they're both going to be battling it out for the the Olympia this year, you know, and Hottie. But Nick the, Walker is going to be and the, and the thing about it is Nick Nick is good and everything and stuff, but. I don't think Nick has the wings from the front that uh that Lunsford has. No, no. He he doesn't, and and uh, also his legs, Lunsford's legs have gotten even bigger. He's put on a lot of size, and he's fairly lean too. Still, so let's see if I can get another recent post. You know, we'll 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 have to see what this what this look translates to once he. Once he uh once we see the final package, he's 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 lean, he's which he's lean now, but he gets to that leanness, he gets that dryness and that fullness, and yeah. then we'll see what the final package is gonna be. For sure. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see him up there. So that's gonna be Friday. I, well, they're probably doing classic Friday and then uh Saturday will probably be open, but uh or yeah. they'll do they'll oh they probably will do pre judging Friday and finals uh saturday or something like that now here's a, here's an uh one of the latest updates from rammy here so uh yeah we, we're not seeing his legs here but he's 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 big we rammy. don't need to see we don't need to see his legs we know no, his, we don't his, his, his quads are tr tremendous yeah you know it's just <laughs> that we don't want him to overshadow his calves yeah that's true but you see that that lower back in, in that shot, it looks he's fixed he's fixed his issues. Remember he had he had the, some atrophy in his tricep and his lower back, and I'm not seeing it here. I mean, look at he's thick down there. 
Yeah, he looks good. We'll yeah, see. He, he was doing the stem cell uh, 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 replacement is what he was doing. So, I don't know. He, he uh, it, it was good he took that time off, man, because he's, he's going to be on it this year. And, uh, yeah. So, here, here's Nick Walker. That was one day ago. He is shredded to the bone. He's pretty lean right now. Yeah. He actually so, looks pretty he looks pretty dry too, so yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he's making a statement is what he's doing. He is making a statement. Oh yeah, he says it right here. I'm not I'm not here just to win. I'm here to make it very clear. You're definitely making it clear, Walker. But yeah, I want to see I want to see him up next to next to uh Lunsford. Here's what I was pretty impressed with is Labrada. He's over 300 now. 300 pounds. I don't think he's ever been that heavy. Now he's obviously obviously not conditioned at this point. I'm not sure what his no, uh, I, what, I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what he's what he's planning this year for far as shows. But uh yeah, it's uh he's been working hard the last two years, hasn't he? Yeah. That was all a whole food diet too, man. Because he had a he was on a liquid diet, you know, and he got so much flack from that, and he went to Whole Foods, and his physique just changed dramatically. So that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad to see him at this spot. I like I like Hunter. Okay, we've got Samson. <clears throat> Samson's looking like Samson. Uh, apparently, Samson also has blocked. Uh, uh, Milos on Instagram and uh, really? Dennis James and Chris Cormier. <laughs> oh, why was he having a falling out now? Well, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what went on be between Milos and Samson, but something went on, and it's to the point where he just blocked him, which I think that's kind of stupid. But I mean, I don't think I, I I really don't think Milos was like writing bad comments on his stuff or anything like that. But yeah, I, I, right, I, I, from what I've heard, he he hasn't. But yeah, I haven't heard nothing like that either. And he's training at Oxygen Gym, too. He's a member over there now. That's where he's been lately. Okay. So, and hmm. Samson has a lot of potential. I just threw Andrew Jack in here just because I... It's it's impressive, the guy, this guy, his flexibility. It's like nothing. I mean, he's a big dude, and he's able to, able to do it. And, you know, in his posing routines, he's always throwing the splits in there, too. That's one of his trademarks, you know what I mean? Just really yeah, impressive. You know, you know, if if he were in, if he were in the NFL, he'd be a defensive end. Yeah, I see that he'd be an yeah. edge rusher is what he would be. Yeah, you know, with his athleticism, his flexibility, you know, his his size and strength. Yeah, yeah I could definitely, I could definitely see him being on the defensive end, being an edge rusher. Wouldn't want to be yeah. the QB that gets hit by him, though. All <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is crazy. I, there's no way I could do that. He's a 300 pounder. Uh, he's pretty close. Yeah, I think he's he's been 300 pounds. I'm not sure what he's weighing out here, but uh, yeah, he's uh he's a he's been a 300 pounder. I know that. Not on stage though. See, I believe uh, uh, Samson was 300 pounds on stage uh at at a uh, couple of the Arnold's, but uh, I don't I don't know that jacked was i think he was probably more like 280 or 270 somewhere in there you can't tell the difference so he looks like he's 300 pounds and he could be 300 pounds right now i don't know we don't you know he don't show too much he's like chris bumstead you know you he, he, he don't see too yeah. much of him until it's showtime which i like yeah. that i like that trademark of his yeah uh because it, it, it upsets everything you know what i mean it just upsets everything it's kind of a a, a, a head game so so yeah, that's our lineup for the Pittsburgh Pro. So we're gonna see Nick Walker uh, a week before he's on the New York Pro, which you know, like I said in the last video, you know, I, I'm I, I'm pretty hundred percent sure he's gonna win that show, but I don't think it's gonna come as easy as he thinks, though. Yeah, know, like yeah, I was, true. I, yeah, I, like I, I was saying last that. time, I can concur with that. Yeah, yeah, but he will win it. I mean, it, it's Nick Walker. He's uh. He's probably, I mean, maybe one of the most dedicated, uh, uh, disciplined bodybuilders out there. You know, uh, I mean, he probably is, and I and I believe that I believe that he is anyway. So, so yeah, he's gonna get started this year. 
And we're going to see him at the Olympia. So he'll he'll definitely be winning that. And he's going to be in Olympia. The question is, we got a lot more people to get in the Olympia. And you, being, you got to win a show right. uh, to get there. You know, we're going to see some competition here soon. And I don't know what the game plans are uh, uh, as far as jumping into the shows. Like, you know, there's some people you probably don't want to battle against right now, you know. So uh, I think it was... Uh, was it Fuad show that he had? Uh, he wanted uh, 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 Tony O to, to compete in it. Uh -huh. And he was too late. They wouldn't let him go to the show. Huh. So, and that was kind of a kind of a thing people have been talking about. Like, you, you should, if you want to go to the show, you should be able to go to the show. There shouldn't be, you know. But I think a lot of guys are also looking at the lineup, you know, ahead of time. And like, oh, crap, I'm going to set this one out, you know, because uh, so-and-so is mm -hmm. there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of that. It's kind of a strategic thing to play anyway, right? But, yeah. you know, we're got a lot of people that need to qualify still. Yep. So just being top three that they give it used to, used to run off of points, right? Yeah. To make it to the Olympia. Yeah. When did they change that anyway? Uh, about about three, three, four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes the Olympias better in the long run, right? Right, right. It, it, yeah, it does. I th well, I, I personally, I think so. Yeah, I do too. Uh, it just makes it more interesting. Matter of fact, I mean, we had, what, last year, you know, there <laughs> there wasn't too many impressive shows last year, remember? I mean, even the New York pro, Tony, he looked awesome, and Tony was a top 10 Olympian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, you know, he, between him and Beef Stew, there really wasn't nobody in, to compare to. The top yeah, two it was, were. It was, him, it was him and Stew and then everybody yeah. else. And everybody else, exactly. But yeah. this New York Pro is going to be a lot different. So the shows starting out this year have already been really exciting. You know, I mean, even the Detroit Pro uh, was exciting. So um, and Martin Martin Fitzgerald winning that, and he he's done a lot of lot of work in the, uh, this last year too. So, uh, and I believe he he's also going to uh, Martin is going to be in the New York Pro too. So we got Martin, we got Nick Walker, we got uh, oh, we got a bunch of them. Got a bunch mm -hmm. of them. You, but yeah, you so that, to, yeah, you know, and if, if the if the sport's gonna grow, especially in the payout aspect with the pros and stuff, you know, it's it's it behooves us to show up, you know, yeah. and show out, you know, bring your best package and stuff because you know that's what's gonna bring the people in, you know. That's right. And then you know you you get a you get a bigger you get a bigger you get bigger revenue at the at the box office and and. And hopefully that translates, you know, into their pockets, you know, yeah, into the, into the winnings, you know. So, so, but, so, just um, strategically, what do you think? I mean, if you if you were an Olympian and you got to qualify during the year, do you uh, do you play it by ear on the show? Do you you know figure out okay, I'm going to do the New York Pro, uh, you know, you already know six months in advance. I mean, do you kind of play it by ear? Because in my mind, you know, if you if you you get it done early and and you win the show, you're already in the Olympia and you have all that time to prepare for the Olympia. Or do you wait till the end? You know what I mean? And just kind of like it, it, you know, it, yeah, it it just depends. It's like some people they can compete in back to back shows, and some people they need about a, a three or four week back gap. You know what I mean? Yeah. They 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 can't recover. You know, like some folks can and stuff. You know, and so you know, it, this is the same way. You know, I mean. Some people, you know, I would probably be more into this camp. I try to get it out of the way early. I get some yeah. of the earlier shows, you know, and then, you know, if I qualify, meaning win a show, you know, then I would power it down right then, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so that, I, that's just me. But some people, some people, you know, they like to wait towards the end. Yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. I think, uh, I think it'd be best to get it done and out of the way. Uh, that you know, that way you don't have to worry about it. Or, I mean. You know, and you, you got like Samson. I mean, how many shows did he do last year? You know, back to back, back. You know, he did a lot of shows last year, and he won yeah, a lot he, of money. You know, I, he walked away with six oh six figure easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, he, he, he probably did close to a half million last year. Yeah, if not a half million, I would say at least a half million. Yeah, yeah, in winnings, and yeah. you know that's that's very rare in bodybuilding in there. So it is. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it totally is. Well, they got the the purse is bigger now. I believe the New York Pro, Pro is paying out thirty grand. I think, uh, for that one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's thirty grand. Uh, I'm not sure what the Pittsburgh Pro is paying out. Uh, probably, I think twenty five grand is the is the least amount now. I, I believe okay. for a show. 
I believe. But the New York Pro is the third. I think it's the third uh, uh, biggest purse in all the shows. Okay. So the New York Pro is pretty big. I used to be the Knight of Champions. Yeah, right? I used to be the Knight of Champions. I remember. It was the first non-Mr. Olympia Pro show. Oh, really? Yeah. So that was a big one then. It's a granddaddy. Yeah. Yeah. That's where... It's great, that's where it's, yeah. Yeah, it, it 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 you know it 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 is at the top of the non Olympia pro shows in the IFBB. Okay. okay. Now uh, that's where Cutler kind of made made himself known was winning night champions. Yeah. Um, I can't yeah, I can't remember what, what what Jay. I can't remember what his pro debut was. Hmm. I know he's won that show. I'm just trying to remember if it, if if that was what you know, made him right there. What, what got him known? I know. Was, I know it was the thing to do at the time. I know it's, it's one way Dorian got started. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think he won the New York pro. Yeah. Well, I should say the night of champions is what, it, champions. that's what it was yeah. back then. Why'd it's they change the, the name? Champions. Huh? Why'd they change the I, name? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Different. I don't know. Different promoter or something. Uh, no, it's, I mean, it's on the IFBB, but I, 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 I really don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check in on that. I'm I'm kind of yeah. curious myself. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I think I'm gonna Google that when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, well, uh, that's all I got. I just wanted to go over the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Pro posing. We're gonna obviously our next video. We're gonna go over the uh, results of that. Uh, so uh, actually came at a perfect time. So uh, you got anything else you want to add? I'm good, man. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you. We will see you uh, Sunday or Monday rather. Uh, and uh, we'll be going over the Pittsburgh Pro. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and you have a good night.